One question we get asked frequently is how much point density do I need? When it comes to drone LiDAR systems, there is a wide range in performance and specs. The higher the pulse repetition frequency, or how many pulses of light are emitted every second, the greater the LiDAR point density will be for your project. Drone LiDAR systems on the market offer PRFs from as low as 100,000 all the way up to 2 million points per second. The point density required for LiDAR mapping depends on the specific application and the desired level of resolution required for feature extraction. The benefits of having a system with a high PRF is that a higher point density allows for a more complete representation of the environment, including small features and details that may be missed with a lower point density. For example, if you are scanning a flat homogeneous surface like a salt flat, you probably only need five points per square meter for an accurate terrain model. If you were scanning more complex and vegetated terrain, 10 to 30 points per square meter would be preferred. If you were scanning a site with small, complex, and intricate man-made features, 50 to 1,000 points per square meter may be required. I personally shoot for around 20 to 30 points per square meter, which is typically sufficient to accomplish the map once, use many times objective for most applications. It's worth keeping in mind that you don't always need the highest point density possible for your project. High point density LiDAR data generates large amounts of data, which can be more challenging to store and require more resources to process and analyze. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.